Hiking through the Falklands is an activity that many people love. Whether it's the dramatic landscapes of camp or the vibrant array of marine life, there is plenty to enjoy. There is an important part of the landscape that is often overlooked. There are approximately 180 species of native plants in the Falklands. They've been here long before humans arrived and their presence in the islands is purely the result of natural processes. Unlike introduced species such as gorse or spear thistle, Vin Ross is the Habitat Restoration Officer at Falklands Conservation and her job involves working with local landowners to restore native habitats and to document and research these important plant species. Ali and Marlene from Cello Harbour Farm have kindly brought us out to Dunnes Head Point here um, where they've got a paddock which has got some really cool native plants in. Um, it hasn't been grazed for a while so the native plants are really blooming so um, we've just come out to have a look at those because it, it's quite unusual to see them on the mainland. And Well we've seen lots of um, Falklands daisies which are the bright yellow ones, you get woolly ones and, um, and smooth ones so that's kind of cool. And um, we've also seen the boxwood coming back, it's blown up the cliff so quite a few species have blown up from the cliff where they were um, living before because the sheep couldn't get to them and, and now that the sheep aren't up on top of the cliff the plants are all spreading there so there's boxwood and tussock and bluegrass and um, some of uh, alimus my personal favorite grass it's great to see these species and um, some of the plants are much bigger than we see them elsewhere because they've got a bit of shelter so um, we've been taking pictures so that um, we can use those um, in kind of identification guides and um, also just to show people examples of those plants and also there's quite a few species which I don't know what they are so I've taken some pictures and we'll take them back um, to the office and have a look through the identification books and get some um, help from um, people back at home to see what those might be. Some species can flourish in grazed areas, but many more can't. Much of this land has been empty of livestock for many years, which has given species the wonderful opportunity to re-establish and to spread. Not all species are as obvious as the bluegrass and the daisies. If you want to spot the rarer species, then you'll need a good eye and no small amount of luck. But persevere and there is plenty to discover here. This one afternoon of walking turned up over 50 native plant species, including this beautiful lady's slipper, which is only found here in the Falkland Islands. However, this isn't just a checklist exercise for Fryn. Native plants are the cornerstone of healthy natural ecosystems and are also increasingly being recognised as a way to target issues such as soil erosion. So I think native species are great, like just they're exciting native plants and sometimes plants get a bit overlooked, but they are also an important part of the um, habitat. So uh, we all know about tussock islands and, and how amazing um, the bird life is on, on those where there's not rats. So there's birds and there's loads of insects which live in the, in the tussock, uh, camel crickets, harvest men, which are a bit like spiders. Um, and then the birds come to eat those and they like to shelter in the tussock and um, the seals shelter in the tussock too. Um, so the native plants are, are part of this big picture of all, all the different wildlife. Um, they're adapted to our kind of cold, windy, dry environment and um, you have to fertilise them or water them and, and um, some of them are quite good at living in those harsh kind of eroded areas. So we've been looking at using those um, things like some of the species we've seen here today um, to see if they can grow in eroded areas. It's good to value our own native species and, and look after them and there's 14 species of plant that are only found in the Falklands that we call them endemic, they're not found um, anywhere else in the world and those ones in particular we want to look after because uh, um, yeah, if they were lost they'd be lost forever so just encouraging people to look out and, and sort of celebrate our plants and see what we've got.